Hi guys, you're welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on how you can transfer your Pi token to your BitGet exchange. It's very easy to do. Just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all. And also, if this video is helpful to you, please consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. So guys, let's get started. The first step you have to take is to get your Pi deposit address. You have to go over to your BitGet exchange account and get your Pi token deposit address. That's the first step you have to take. So what I'm going to do now is to go over to my BitGet account to show you how you can be able to find and copy your Pi token so let me go over to my bitget account let me tap on bitget to open it now you can see my bitget account has opened up so what i will do now is to tap on where it is written assets you can see it down there so let me tap on it then the next step now is to tap on where you can see add funds you can see it right there at the top so let me tap on add funds then you have to tap on where you can see deposit crypto you can see it right there at the top the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on deposit crypto so guys at this point this is where you have to find the crypto that you want to actually copy is deposit address and for this case you want to copy the deposit address of pi so what you have to do now is to search for pi and you can search for pi easily by tapping on the search icon at the top so let me tap on it then let me type in pi pi so guys you can see the search result right there you can see the pi logo you can see it written there pi network you can see it pi so what you have to do now is to go ahead now to tap on pi so let me tap on pi to select it Right here is where you're going to be able to copy your Pi token deposit address. You can see it right there being encycled. So for you to copy it now, what you simply have to do is to tap on the copy icon. You can see it right there on the right hand side. So let me go ahead now to tap on copy. Let me tap on it. You can see now copy it. So I've been able now to copy on my Pi deposit address. So let me go back now to show you guys how you can be able to transfer it. So guys, now I'm back to the Pi platform. So let me show you how you can be able to transfer your Pi from here to your BitGet account. So guys, the first step you have to take is to tap on where you can see pay slash request. So let me tap on it. Then the next step you have to take now is to tap on where you can see manually add wallet address. You can see it there. That's the second option. You can see what's written underneath it. Use this to send or request Pi from someone who is not in your contacts yet. So guys, let me go ahead now to tap on it. So guys, now you can see here is the next step. This is where you have to impute the amount of Pi token that you want to send. And also you have to impute um the wallet address, the one you copied from your BitGet account. You have to impute it right there, your Pi token wallet address. So guys, now let me go ahead now to show you how you can be able to impute the amount of Pi token. You can see where it is written 0.00. .00. You have to tap on it to impute it. So let me tap on it now. Um, Let me impute 0.002 you can see it right there so now over to the wallet address let me tap on it so guys i have to paste the wallet address right there so let me paste it real quick then after that now what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see send but before you tap on send you can see where it is written memo memo is optional not all exchanges have memo so we don't need memo for this so let me go ahead now to tap on where you can see send you can see it right down there so let me tap on send so guys can see here's the next step can see what's written there you're about to send 0.1 pi let me get to read what is written here they said do you recognize this pi now we notice this address isn't in your wallet contacts please be sure you know and trust this individual before transferring any pi as transactions are non-refundable so guys you don't need to bother about that statement right there of course you know that the wallet address you're using is yours it's from your bitget account so you don't need to bother about that so what you have to look into is the recipient amount the amount you want to send make sure it's the exact amount that you want and also the fee you can see the fee is very small 0.001 so guys after you've seen this what you have to do next is to tap on where you can see confirm so let me go ahead now to tap on confirm so guys now you can see it's loading up let's just use a few seconds wow guys can see transfer succeeded please refer to the history page for the full history of transaction so let me tap on close now let me go back to the home page so i'm going to show you guys that the transfer has gone so guys now you can see i'm back here now you can see my transfer history you can see it right there minus 0.1 pi so this is to show that i actually made the transaction let me tap on it to open it so guys can see it right there transaction details minus 0.1 pi you can see the date and the time exactly so what you have to do next now is to go over to your bitget account and confirm that you actually received it or of course you're going to receive it so guys now this i can be able to transfer your pi token to your bitget account and i believe it was helpful to you do it to like subscribe and leave a comment peace